Episode 11 The Truth About Paul Part 1 Vibe check Vibe check Vibes are good Vibes are good So What did you guys do today? I mostly just drawed Oh, me? I just been solving this Rubik's Cube. Pretty hard, by the way. Oh, me? Well, I just danced to some marshmallow music. I think I got the dancers down. I, let's just say I'm pretty good at dancing, and I might be the best dancer in the whole universe. Oh, well, can I see? I want to see too. Sure. Please, uh, get out of the way, Spencer. I think I might need this area. Ah, uh, sure. Go, Jeremy, go, go, go! You're really busting the move there! Keep going, keep going! Woohoo! Go, Jeremy, go, go, go! Jerry, are you okay? okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Just knocked into this drawer. Shouldn't be careful of my surroundings. Ugh, I'm fine. Hey, what's that? What's what? Behind your drawer, I see something blue. Huh? Oh, I do see something. What's this? What the heck? Huh? It appears to be a button. Huh, that's strange. I have never seen this before. Did you know about this, Jeremy? No. Are you sure you lived in this house your whole life and you didn't know that this button was here? No, I'm positive. I've never seen this before. I didn't even know this existed. Out of all places, a button behind a drawer? Oh, that's sketchy. That's so weird. Are you sure you're not hiding anything, Jeremy? No! Can I press it? No, Paul! We shouldn't press it! Who knows? We don't even know what it does. It might lead to unimaginable consequences, so whatever you guys don't do is don't press this button until we find out what this thing does. I totally agree with you. <laughs> Pressed it. Paul, oh, why did you, did you do, do that? that? What? I had it to do it. You know how touchy I get when I come across buttons, dials, levers, and more. You see? Nothing happened. Seriously guys, you're acting like babies. What's the worst that can happen? Oh no. What's happening? Paul, what have you done? Oh, 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 oh. Paul, I blame you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Oh! 
Oh. 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 Uh, uh. Uh. Hey, Spencer. Yeah, what? <laughs> Can you please get your legs off of my chest? All right, I'm sorry. Ugh, just let me get up first. Ugh. Oh, that was such a high place that we fell from. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing that this bed was made, was able to break our fall. And that was so scary. I thought we were gonna die. Huh. Uh, where even are we? Wait a minute. A bedroom under Jeremy's room? What? Huh? Ah, uh, it appears so. Huh? Oh, 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 what? 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 How is this even possible? Jeremy, did you know about this? Yeah, Jeremy, did you know about this? What? No. Are you sure you're not hiding a secret room from me? That way you can hug it all to yourself so I don't get a room? Huh, <laughs> how selfish. Dude, I guarantee you, I'm not hiding any secret room from you. If I had a spare room, I would give it to you. Okay? Okay. I have my eyes on you. Are you kidding me right now? This is no time to be arguing. We're in a serious situation. We need to find a way out of here or we'll be stuck down here forever. By the way, it's so dark here. Yeah, it's so dark. Aw, oh, dang it. The light bulbs are broken. We can't turn on the lights. I wonder how that happened. Does someone have a flashlight? Don't worry, I have flashlights on me. <sighs> Why do you have a flashlight on you? Well, for reasons. Okay, uh, here's one, Paul, and you too, Jeremy. Thanks, Spencer. Ah, that's a lot better. I can finally see now. My biggest concern is, how do we even get out of here, guys? Oh, oh, oh! We can climb up to the hole that we fell from. Good idea, Jeremy. No! 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 Oh, man. Why did the hole... It vanished! What the heck? Oh no! Uh, Our only it. way to escape! Must have closed after now we we're gonna be here it. forever! It's dark! Kind of oh no! Oh man! Now we're stuck down here. <laughs> Spencer, do you have any ideas? I mean, we came down here, so there has to be an exit somewhere. Oh, that's a good idea. We can try finding an exit. How about we slip? How about we split up? And if we find an exit, then we let each other know. How about that? Right. Let's split up. Okay, let's split up. Oh yeah, there's a vent shaft. Oh wait, we're probably uh, too big to fit through that. Dang it! Okay, let's search. Is there an exit behind here? No. No, no. How about behind this window? Oh man, no. Ah, just do it. What about... Be out here! 
No. Looks like. Oh. Dang it. How about. Behind here! Oh. No exit. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let me try one more time. Three. Two. One. No! Oh, this is gonna take forever! Huh? What's that? Okay, I've seen this in the movie once. Where there usually a is a secret exit behind a place where you wouldn't expect, so... I choose this. Ah! Uh. I don't think there's an exit behind those cabinets. Okay. Uh, okay. Three, two, one. Whoa. Mm hmm. No exit. Oh man. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. This one. I'm sure. Okay. Three, two. One! Oh man! No exit at all. Oh! A door! That must lead to an exit! Oh, just a shower. Thought it was an exit for sure. Eh, you try, Jeremy. Maybe. In here! Huh? Dang it! <sighs> We're doomed. Maybe it's in here! <laughs> Dang it! <sighs> For the last time, there is no exit behind cabinets! I'm sure no one would mind if I sneak a peek. Okay. What's in here? Huh? Huh. Nothing too special here. Just a disc. Huh. Huh. Okay. Looks like some papers. What the heck? <laughs> what are some of these? Huh? What's this? Okay. Project R, aka Project Replication? What? What does this picture even mean? Hey Paul, did you find an exit? Ah! Oh, Spencer! Oh, you almost gave me a heart attack. Don't do ever do that! No, I didn't. What's that? Oh, just some papers I found in the suitcase. You want to see? Sure! Okay, I'll give you some. Hold on. Uh, okay. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here you go. Ah, thanks. Huh. What? Nah. Huh. This is weird. What is this? Some kind of bad drawing of a kangaroo? What even is this? Project 24, duplicate 24? Huh? Huh. Hey Spencer, what you got there? Uh, nothing. Just looking through uh, some drawings Paul gave me. Oh, can I see? Uh, sure, you can have a look. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey guys, listen to this. Entry 1, January 1, 2015. Me and Nevin are commencing Project R, which will be our biggest achievement in mankind ever seen before. We managed to get the energy compactor, transreceiver, interbridge, and finally, 
the now that's weird. It seems like this word is crossed out. For some reason. Okay, I'll keep reading. We are working on it and we will finish it no matter what. Signed by Dan S. Huh. Who's Dan S? I have no idea who that is. Well, that seems interesting. It sounds like some scientists are, were working on something. I guess whoever used to own this bedroom used to be a scientist? I have no idea. Just a guess. Shadokai, Shadoki, Shadoki, Shadoki. How do you even pronounce this word? Shadoki or Shadoki? I'm just gonna read it anyway. Shadoki Industries. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never heard of that before. That sounds familiar. What is e Project R? Do you guys know? Does it ring a bell? Me neither. Yeah, me too. I will. Does the name Shadoki Industries mean something to you? Do you recognize it? No. No? This stuff seems weird, like, what even is this? Project 68, Duplicate 68, oh my goodness, what, if you, what is, what, what is this? It looks like a six-year-old drew, drew this. Oh, what even is this? Looks like a guy with an oval face, and this guy, uh, his arm seems to be not in the right position. Yeah, what the frick? Uh, this guy looks ugly. Uh. What the heck? This guy looks creepy as heck. Probably the most creepiest drawing I have ever seen so far. What even is this? What the heck? What the heck? Project 177. Duplicate 177. Ah, uh, dude. Uh, you need to hear this. Uh, sure. Entry 177. February 2nd, 2015. After the loss of my son, I couldn't get over it. I constantly keep having nightmares about him, blaming me for his death. So I had no choice but to clone him. I managed to get his piece of hair from his comb. I insert the piece to the machine and when I did, it was successful. He looks exactly like my son. Same features, same voice, and personality. I interviewed him and he seems to remember everything. The nightmares are finally going to end and I'm so happy that he's back. Santa by Dan Ness. Huh, don't know that guy. What? Clones? There's no way clones are real. Yeah, there's no way clones are real. Just something make-believe, I guess. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Clones, there's no way. Just uh, some little kid who drew these and also wrote some kind of science fiction book. There's no way. Anyways, what's this? Let me look through this. Dear Paul and Spencer. Wait, what? Uh, Spencer? There's a letter to us. That's weird. Why would a letter to us be down here? Unless someone is trying to write us a letter and ship it to us. That's a little creepy. Why would there be a letter to you guys? It's like someone who used to be in this bedroom knew you guys. Uh, read it. Okay. Dear Paul and Spencer, this isn't easy for me to say, but I'll say it anyway, so listen very close. I'm putting both of you up for adoption in 
Wait, what? I know it's harsh, but it's for the best. Your mom isn't here. You both are always left at home alone. And I'm always working, which is hard to spend time with both of you. I know I haven't been the best father. And you both deserve better parents that love and support you no matter what. Which is why I'm handing both of you to Misu and Kangwin, who will take care of both of you. They're your parents now. I'm so sorry. I guarantee I'm doing this to protect you both. Goodbye. The one thing can change is that I love you both. I will never forget both of you. Please understand. Sincerely, Dan S. No. No. This can't be real. This is. This is. This. No. No. This, this can't be real. No. 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 There's no way. Our parents are real. Or our real parents. There's no way Dan S is our real dad. No. No. If we were adopted, then they wouldn't have told us. Why did they keep this secret from us? What? No way! You guys are adopted? Huh? No. This can't be. Our parents aren't our real parents, and they're actually our foster parents? Huh? And we have a dad named Dan S. But we don't know who Dan is. is. We, I don't even remember him. No, this ledger can't be real. This can't be. If it was real, then why didn't our parents tell us about our father? Or us being adopted? No, 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 this can't be. This can't be. There's no way we're adopted. They, uh, why did they keep the secret from us? Why? Well, maybe your parents have a reason for hiding the secret. Maybe your dad was like a bad guy and they just wanted to protect you both by not finding out that your dad is like, I don't know, like a bad person. So maybe they were just trying to protect you guys. I don't know what's the actual reason. I mean, this is just what I think, but I'm sure your parents aren't horrible. They seem like nice people and I doubt that they would lie to you guys without a good reason, so think about this carefully, guys. I guess you're right. I guess when we confront them, we have to ask them about this because I'm not gonna wait around and just not ask them about it. I mean, this is a big thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to confront our parents we need answers. Now. You have a pretty good point, Jeremy. Maybe they did have a reason. When I see Dennis, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind because he's our parent and he shouldn't abandon his own kids. It's just wrong, dude. Just wrong. <laughs> Wait, if my last name isn't Wynn, then what even, what even is my last name? It starts with an S. But what could it stand, what, what, what could it be? Couldn't, could my last name be Sam? 
uh, Samuel or 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 uh, or uh, I don't know what even is my last name. Who is Dan S? We have to meet him. He's our real father. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Panicking. Yeah, what even is your last name? What is my last name? I'm just as confused as you are. Yeah, what even is your last name? It's gonna be so weird not calling you Paul Wynn. I mean, your last name could be anything. The possibilities are endless. <sighs> so now what? I'm not sure. I think I have another idea that's going to so solve this situation. Is that we watch whatever it is on the CD because I really feel like that this is going to reveal something important.